Get down to business now and the African group of negotiators has voiced strong displeasure at the recent decision to relocate the Santiago network on loss and damage from Nairobi to Geneva. The network established under, under the UN Climate Change Framework to provide technical support and facilitate financial assistance to countries weighed down by the impacts of climate change has become a focal point of contention at the climate talks in Bonn, Germany. NMG Sustainability Editor Zena Bondati explains why. The decision to move the Secretariat from Nairobi to Geneva has sparked widespread criticism among African environmental activists and also the negotiators themselves, with the argument being that this move, this relocation, takes away Africa's ability to effectively address the impacts of climate change, which disproportionately affects Africa. Uh, what happened uh, a few weeks back in Geneva is that uh, a recommendation that was uh, given by the UN body that was to host the uh, body that is going to work on matters of loss and damage called Santiago Network in UN54C was moved against the recommendation of the UN agencies from Nairobi, which was the preferred host uh, city, to Geneva, uh, which is uh, in uh, Switzerland. That was uh, illogical, irrational, unjust, and uncalled for. And what we told the global community during this session here in Bonn is that that board decision, which was approved by that board of the Santiago Network, is incorrect, is wrong, and therefore the African group will challenge that decision. So this move also raises questions about fairness and inclusivity of global climate governance, because while Africa bears the smallest responsibility to or contribution to the global climate crisis, it shoulders the greatest burden of the impacts of climate change. And so critics see this relocation as uh, one of the ways in which rich nations flex their muscles to frustrate uh, poor countries. This is uh, a practice which the, the North, that is the rich countries, are perfected using their financial clout. However, Africa remains optimistic and says that this is not the end of it because they will be pushing and fighting viciously, especially at COP29, because the interests of these poor countries will not be had if this fund is not in a country that actually knows what it means to suffer the impacts of climate change.